house with stairs. Peter was a dog who lived in the house with Mr. and Mrs. Peterson and their little boy pet. When Peter went out to walk in the park, he rode down in the lift. When he went in again, he rode up in the lift. Peter knew all about lifts, but he knew nothing about stairs. One day, the Peterson moved into another house. The house had not lived in it, but it had stairs. Peter was very glad to see so many rooms and so many chairs. Then he saw the stairs. What's that? said Peter. That are stairs, Mr. Peterson said. That is how you go upstairs. Mr. Peterson went upstairs. Come to me, Peter, he said. Now, stands, said Peter. The stairs are for going upstairs, Mrs. Peterson said. She went upstairs. Come, t- come to me, Peter, she said. Oh, no, said Peter. See how I go upstairs, said Pat. He ran up. It's fun, Peter. No, 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 said Peter, and he hid behind the sofa. I'll carry him up and show him how to do it, he heard Mr. Patterson's words. Mr. Patterson got Peter out from behind the sofa. He picked him upstairs. There, said Mr. Patterson. See how nice it is. Peter looked at the long stairs. He certainly was there, and he was here. He said, Please, come to me, and looked at Mr. Patterson. We are going to the the kitchen, he heard Mr. Patterson say. He'll come down. But Peter couldn't go down. He could only uh, look at the stairs. Mrs. Patterson said, he feels so bad. Bring him down. Mr. Patterson brought Peter down again. Oh, thank you said Peter, and kissed his family. That night Peter was thinking, it's time for my dinner, but Mrs. Patterson said, I'll put your dinner on the fourth step, go up and get it. Peter looked at his dinner on the fourth step, it smelled so good. He looked at Mrs. Patterson, but she didn't, did nothing. Poor Peter, he felt more hungry than he felt frightened. So he went up one step and another and got his dinner. Then he cried because he was on the fourth step. Mr. Patterson brought him down. Next night Peter was thinking again, it's time for my good dinner. But he saw Mrs. Peterson put his dinner on the eighth step. He was so hungry, so he went up step by step, and got his dinner. Then he cried, because he was on the eighth step, and Mrs. Pedersen brought him down. The night after that, Peter saw Mrs. Pedersen put his dinner at the top of the stairs. It smelled so good that he went up and ate his dinner, and Mrs. Pedersen brought him down. Peter said to himself, Those stairs aren't so bad. I can go upstairs. And he went all the way upstairs. When he saw he he must go down, he sat at the top and cried. Mrs. Patterson said, No, Peter, I will not help you down anymore. Here is your dinner on the eighth step. Maybe that will help you. Peter looked down and shipped his dinner. He was so hungry that he went down one step, another, another, and got his dinner. He said, I got this dinner, and now I'll go all the way. He went all the way downstairs. He was so glad, and he kissed his family. Then Peter ran upstairs. Then he ran through the bedrooms, jumped on the beds, came downstairs, and ran back up. He heard Mr. Patterson say, Oh, I wish we'd never told that dog to go upstairs. He heard Mr. Patterson say, I told you so, but Peter threw a house with stairs was beautiful, and he ran upstairs to hide a bone under the bed.